Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about three ways that your fretboard can affect your tone. With many of the guitar manufacturers changing up what they're using for fretboard materials, this is a question that's been coming up a lot on the internet. Does the material of the fretboard make a difference in your tone? So I'm going to talk today about three ways that the fretboard does affect your tone. What we mean by affect your tone is anything that affects how our hands interact with the guitar is definitely going to affect our tone. If we are uncomfortable, if the, if the guitar doesn't fit in our hands, if it sticks, if our hand sticks to the back of the neck, anything like this, any thing that affects how we interact with the guitar is definitely going to affect our tone. So, the first thing, the fretboard radius. Flatter radiuses, 10 inch, 12 inch, 16 inch radiuses, are not only flatter, they don't just affect how you pick with your right hand, and it doesn't affect not just bending and stuff, but those radiuses will also affect the corner of the, the neck right here. So a flatter radius guitar with the same profile of neck is going to feel bigger in your hands. So that's number one. The radius of the fretboard is not just the face of it. It actually affects how it fits in your hand. The second thing is the fret size. A lot of people don't realize that if you have a bigger fret, it makes the overall size of the neck bigger in your hand. So a small fret, even though the main thing we think of is that the string is closer to the fretboard versus a tall fret that you know lets you get underneath there a little bit, it also holds the fret further away from the fretboard and it actually makes the neck feel larger in your hand. The third way is a little bit more indirect it has to do more with setup. A lot of the guitars that we see come into the shop on a daily basis are just are not set up very well. People don't take the time to set the neck relief properly, use that as a baseline for the rest of their setup, and then go on and set the guitar up to their preferences. You can go to some of our other videos on Dylan Talks Tone YouTube channel and check out how to set your neck relief properly. A lot of people don't do this, and as a result, that being the foundation of the rest of the guitar setup, it really affects how the guitar feels and how you interact with it as a player. Those three things are things that probably make far more difference in your tone than the actual material of the fretboard itself. A lot of people get really hung up on the density of the wood and you know how tight the grain is and all this sort of stuff. But the thing is, if we switch from rich light to rosewood, to Peo Ferro, to Maple, to Ebony. We're not really thinking more about the actual wood itself, but what we're really worried about is how we interact with the guitar. So, I would challenge you to go try some materials that you've not played before. Rich Light, Peo Ferro, Zebra Wood, all these other various kind of woods that aren't typically found on the fretboard of an instrument. If you can find those guitars, they're everywhere and give it a shot and tell me what you think. Leave your comments uh, below. I wanna hear what you think of fretboards that are not typically found on guitars every day. So we're not talking about maple, rosewood, or ebony. Something else. Go play something that has something else on it and tell me what you think in the comments below. My name is Dylan and this has been Dylan Talks Tone.